Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video where I'm covering the new Model Y upgrade. This is a 2021 uh, upgrade, as you can see, just for comparison, this is the 2020, so uh, Chrome is gone. So there were some, uh, um, you know, rumors that Tesla is going to get a facelift, uh, this is going to be new bumpers, new headlights, but it turns out it's not, it makes more, um, that's logical from the standpoint of the production, because you don't need a uh, new changes that cost more and uh, halt the production. So we still have the great uh, design. It's the same, but with some uh, copy paste from the Model Y. So no more Chrome around the windows, door handles, uh, side mirrors, and the little cameras on the side. And uh, there's also a new wheel on the performance version. It's now 20 inch, not 21. So it has more tire. Uh, it's a little bit softer on the road. Uh, the wheels design is copied from the Model Y. Um, personally, I like the previous wheels more, to be honest, uh, but this is a matter of taste. We all have different tastes. And uh, something I'm sorry that didn't happen is the Model Y has a rear tinted windows. The Model 3 didn't get that. I hope, I'm hoping Tesla will consider that in the future because it's not a problem in Europe, but in the US, a lot of people smash the small window uh, to grab, steal something from the car from the back. Um, and I like the, you know, the factory tint instead of the foils, to be honest. Now, another thing is the side and I believe the front windshield, there are going to be in a double window, uh, I mean, double glass. So this is going to be better from the soundproof inside the car, less uh, wind noise. Now uh, the rear, um, trunk is getting a electronic opening. Uh, there's no word of front getting that but these are the new wheels as you can see and Tesla just re-photoshopped uh, these pictures uh, to blacken out the chrome. Uh, the next thing is the interior. The interior got a metal bridge change. I'm not sure if these buttons are different for the opening and they look like they have this white basil or something. I might be wrong uh, but just to open this picture pictures are going to slide. You can see the new interior. This is like Alcantara finish like on the black uh, doors this would be black Alcantara so this is like the same material and then you have a leather around it looks more premium more posh you still have uh, the this is the back is uh, I think the same you still have uh, the uh, cup colors on the same spot and this uh, sorry uh, this slides in so you can have the uh, compartment here the previous uh, model was just uh, you know piano black uh, here and um, I think this looks a lot better let me see here if there's any pictures of the interior so you can see this was the previous you would open here to put a phone uh, before wireless charging wasn't standard on the model 3 it was updated in the 2020 model and now it's an option so you had this chrome piano black finish that was prone to scratching to uh, it's a dust collector, fingerprint magnet, it was a horror. And uh, luckily, I'm glad Tesla decided to remove this because it just looked really bad. Um, so this is a lot better. This looks a lot more posh, um, more, more premium. And I wish they up and changed the speakers. They, they are the only thing that looks maybe cheap <laughs> with some, um, um, instead of this, uh, finish they should just add some brushed aluminium uh, but yeah moving on um, and the greatest thing is the range battery range uh, so uh, we all know uh, so the this is a great page if you want to electric vehicle database to check uh, data but so I'm just gonna come over here so this is a standard range it had 309 kilometers of range this is just circled to one kilometer I believe this was 460, I might be wrong, it says here 450 for the dual motor and it says 435 for the performance. So this web page isn't updated. So if we check here, this is the new range on the standard plus. Look at this, 430 kilometers of range. This is 309 kilometers. I mean, wow, this is like more than a, 100 kilometers of range uh, extension. I mean, I'm seriously now considering the standard plus uh, in the future instead of the long range. And trust me, it does tested standard plus and long range. 
the standard plus has one electric motor less so there's no electric front electric motor and the battery is a bit smaller so it's a lot uh, more comfortable on the road because the car is a lighter uh, this one's heavier it takes more power to move um, and to stop as well but um, I'm not sure about the charging uh, the charging speed was slower on the standard plus so I hope they've changed that as well but we're gonna see that in the future now the long range had 560 I believe but it says 550 on that EV database but 580 now that's wow and then the excuse me the performance also has 567 kilometers that's also extended but the biggest uh leap is the more than 100 kilometers on the standard plus i think a lot of people are now going to considering getting the entry model which is good but in europe we need a little bit more than that uh, the prices are more expensive but um let me show you these are the wheels i'm just going to jump to the configurator now these are the hubcaps they have changed and the alloys uh, design as well so if we go to order now now i am in europe i'm in croatia nikola tesla is from croatia unfortunately we don't have tesla uh yet we're not on the list um tesla did announce they're going to come in 2020 uh, early 2020 in Croatia but thanks to the pandemic that didn't happen they've opened job postings uh, listings for the Zagreb capital city so I'm assuming we're gonna get it end of this year 2020 or the next 2021 hopefully and that's why I'm gonna open the Slovenian which is the closest one uh, uh, the neighboring country so they have it and opening up uh, now it says here 420 this was 30 now uh as you can see i have a translator this is slovenian and when you open the translator it messes up with this so it was automatically translated i'm just gonna pop it once more time i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put german let me see just a second uh, deutsch deutschland um so this is germany and yeah i think this really messes up with the with the um, configurator so it's 430 as i showed you um never mind this um i'm gonna shut this out um sorry for that um so let's talk about i'm gonna leave the translator here uh just know this is sometimes it shows like three kilometers if you refresh it's just the Google Translator uh, in the browser just messes up with this. Um, so moving on, uh, just a thing I want to note for all the American audience, uh, why is Tesla not selling huge in Europe? This is why. Uh, this is price including taxes in Slovenia, but this is like $10,000 or $20,000 more for the same car that you buy in the US for less money. So. Uh, hopefully when the Giga Berlin opens up this is going to be uh, more closer to the American prices but um, not that much affordable in China we saw price drops uh, so hopefully that's going to happen in Europe moving on the design um, so the um, standard range long range um, has a premium interior this is the partial uh, there's no change in the interior besides the uh, metal bridge that I know that I noted um, unfortunately the center plus doesn't have fog lights uh, just a black piece of trim here and it's a matter of safety I think Tesla should add that and uh, add uh, rear la latch release on the rear door for the emergency uh, and not hit it in the uh, side pockets below the rubber and a little plastic that you need to remove to pull the tab to open the emergency release on the rear doors so um as you can see this is not even changing the kilometers so it's just uh what i mentioned but the exterior so these are the new hub cups wheels if i open here you can see this was the old design it was more curved here now it's <clears throat> excuse me more uh, this is standard this is without uh, this is I don't know some aftermarket the without is still the same as far as I've seen on some spy shots but 
these are the new hubcaps they're now just straight lines it's not curved um, and this is a little bit different um, honestly I prefer the previous design this is also have some sharp lines the previous was more edge uh, more roundish and I closed the window on the electric but uh, there were some comparison pictures of these sorry for browsing fast uh, there was just showing the air vent was a little bit different as well I think most people would prefer the old wheels but this is just what it is and now to wrap it up you see the colors um, so I, I don't know without the chrome uh, and the light wheels I think I would rather go with the hubcaps to be honest it's more comfortable ride with 18 inch instead of 20 um, I mean excuse me 19 inch and it's just a lot better uh, if I go to the performance car just to show you so the performance now has this uh, 20 inch not 21 in my opinion they're ugly I prefer the previous ones um, I don't know the car just just doesn't look as appealing to me personally uh, like the previous one and then these are <clears throat> the colors so I would say um, you know car would look a lot better with the tinted rear windows I love the chrome on the white black blue and red color personally I mean I like the chrome in general but I also like this more stealth look now with the black car especially the midnight silver this is just looking awesome with the blacked out pieces the blue one looks sportish and the red but I'm not a personally huge fan of that um, but that's it those are all the options and another thing the interior as mentioned this is the new one this is satin black finish so no more um, black piano finish we have Alcantara here and then it's now over here with you put your phone so with the wireless charging that is standard I believe the back USB are, are going to be C not A anymore and this is white interior just for the comparison and the autopilot price has increased so it's now seven thousand five hundred euros instead of seven hundred so that's a five hundred euros increase and yeah not to forget the color options the white is still free it used to be black in the past and the black gray and blue color are now 1050 euros it used to be 800 euros and the red is 2100 euros it used to be i believe 1900 so a little increase of the price in the color options and the um, autopilot but if autopilot Elon Musk said it's going to increase in the future so I wouldn't pay for the full self-driving because I don't think it's worth that much money honestly but you know I think it should be standard in the future and probably will at some point but um, it's just not worth the price I think uh, that's just my personal opinion so thank you for watching I uh, hope this video wasn't too long uh, tell me in the comments below how do you like the new upgrades or the updates and uh, give this video a like a like helps me a lot and subscribe to this channel I do car reviews um, I like cars there's not too many electric cars in Europe but I'm waiting to get my hands on the new ID3 Volkswagen uh, new electric car um, and I tested the Model 3 as well so uh, if you like uh, or if you want to subscribe to this channel and in that case click the little bell to get notifications when I upload a new video thanks for watching I'm gonna see you in the next one bye